In this following tutorial, we will learn how we can lower the site loading speed using some cache plus plugin. And in this tutorial, we are going to use WP fastest cache plugin, which is available for free for our WooCommerce based website. Before go enabling or installing this cache plugin, I would like to show you about our current site speed using a website called GT Metrics. Just type GT Metrics in Google and you can easily find this website. Here we will put our URL of the home page and will run the test it will take some time to test our website speed in the meantime we will use another tool called pingdom tools to check our website as well type pingdom tools in google and you can find this their website here we will also copy our homepage URL and paste it inside the URL box and we will choose a server by default it, you will choose the North America server and start the test. So both tests are running and in the meantime I will tell you why you need to reduce your site loading speed. You know, nobody ever wants to load the full website and wait for them to get any information. So, reducing the site loading speed will help you, help your users to get the available information as fast as possible. So now, we can see the GT matrix has tested our site and our fully page loaded time is 6.5 second total page size is 2.59 MB and has 83 requests with page speed score of 79% and Y slow score is 64% or something and the similar result we can see here at the pingdom site load time is 6.51 second but request is a little lower than the gt matrix and performance grade is c or 73 i don't know why they omit they have omitted some request in calculation but the main thing the load time is 6.51 and 6.5 is pretty same so now we will learn how you can lower the loading time using a free plugin from your wordpress dashboard for this you have to go to your dashboard remember you have to logged in as administrator to do this work now from here you have to click on plugin and add new it will load the plugin repository of wordpress and from here you have to search for wp fastest cache remember the name wp fastest cache here is the plugin and the icon is a leopard so you have to click on install now and click on the activate
as soon as you activate the plugin you will find a new icon on the top navigation menu administrator menu like this clear cache from here you can manually clear cache anytime by just clicking on this link and from the left menu you can find wp fastest cache here you have to click on this menu to go to the settings page from here you will enable all the options within the fastest cache option so first thing you will enable cache system click on these check boxes accordingly then you have to enable the preload remember some settings are for pro version or premium version only and preload the home page post and everything preload means it will automatically create the cache version of all the pages of your site and you don't have to show the cache version for logged in users and also keep another um, cache for mobile devices rather than showing the desktop version next you have to clear all the cache while publishing any new post also you have to clear the cache on updating any post keep uh, selected the minify html minify css combine css combine j all it all will reduce the request to load your site faster also enable the ggip option Please note sometimes your site might break while combining this CSS and J. If you see any uh, problem with your site, you can first disable this combine CSS and combine JS option. After selecting all the options and setting the language as English, you have to press the save changes button now you can see the cache has been enabled from here you can delete the cache manually also you can always delete the cache from the navigation bar top above and these are timeout rules and settings you can define some rules here and image optimization is also for premium and here you can exclude some pages and user agents and also you can exclude some cookies CSS from this rule main. These are all advanced options. Generally you don't have to deal with them. From the CDN tab you can enable the Cloudflare CDN or Photon CDN provided by WP.com and some uh, jetpack plugin here it will also work with any CDN now you have to test again the performance of our site using the same tool called GT matrix and ping them now we will retest again Similarly, we will retest again using the ping down tools. For this, you have to create a new tab and have to put your URL again. And remember to start the test from the same server like North America, San Francisco. As the previous because we will compare both the result 
before and after enabling the cache. The test is running. In GT metric, it will take some time because the site is very popular among the developer to test the site speed. So it will take some time. In the meantime, we will check the result from ping DOM. In ping DOM, we can see now our performance grade has been improved and load time has been decreased. Also requests are decreased, but page size is the same. If you compare with the previous result, you can see we have nearly uh, increased 2 second, sorry decreased 2 second of load, load time and we have uh, nearly improved our performance 10 points and now we can say the cache is working properly so let's look at the ping dom uh, sorry gt matrix test again it's currently facing the site in the meantime you can browse your website in incognito window to check manually if everything is loading correctly or not see we can visually see the load time has been really decreased and the site is loading faster than ever okay as we can see everything is all right we can check a product page also and all the elements are loading really fast so we don't need to worry about anything let's take a look on another product also if you are first time watching this tutorial you might not know that we are building a dropshipping website based on WooCommerce in this full tutorial series and you can browse the other videos from the playlist to learn how can you build a dropshipping WooCommerce store with zero investment yourself okay now here are the results we can see the timings of the test and here you can see we have achieved a greater page speed score from the previous one page speed score is defined by google and y slow score is defined by yahoo so we can say our site is very preferred in google but from here we can see the server page load time is a little lower previous it was 6.5 and now 5.5 and most of the time it, it took to load the images from here you can see the optimized version of our images provided by GT Matrix on real time basis you can download and upload them again into your website to decrease the um, loading time and also there are more thing you can do to achieve greater y slow score but all this will require some manual coding so i am not going to cover them in detail right now you can 
सेट ए सी डी एन और टू इम्प्रूव योर साइट लोडिंग स्पीड एज वेल यूजिंग क्लाउड फ्लेयर फ्री सी डी एन और एनी अदर पेड सी डी एन एंड ऑल्सो यू कैन एड एक्सपायरी हेडर्स एंड अनचेक द ई टैग टू इम्प्रूव योर वाइस लो स्कोर थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो I think you have learned something new and see you in the next video until then bye bye